On the first day of Christmas, Matsuki gave to me an opinion on Call of Duty. Hello, first of all, I want to wish you guys a happy and merry little Christmas all around the globe, and I hope you guys are enjoying the holidays. I myself, and in fact over the next 12 days, I would love to present to you my very own personalized 12 Days of Codmas Hot Takes videos. I'm gonna aim for one a day and we'll see how that goes. They're gonna be shorter in general, but I think I'll manage. <laughs> I'm still working on my campaign review and it's going well, but it is 10 p.m. right now, so Christmas is tomorrow morning. So I guess in technicality, Merry Christmas Eve, and I guess it will be Christmas Day by the time you guys get to watch this. But without further ado, today's hot take is that skill-based matchmaking in Call of Duty is a necessary evil. <laughs> Enjoy! Alright, what a controversial opinion this is. I'm probably gonna throw in some mid-ass gameplay in the background to show how awful I am at God to justify those currently cringing at their computer screens going, Ew, he likes skill-based matchmaking and engagement-optimized matchmaking? <sighs> Which, uh, by the way, are not fully explored yet. We don't really know the exact extent these matchmaking systems are in play. And also, I'd love to prefix this by saying, no, I don't support these systems when they interfere with ping. Ping is king all the way, baby. But yeah, why is skill-based matchmaking a necessary evil? I think it's good for COD for several reasons. Here they are. Number one, they rightfully protect low-skill and average-skill gamers from getting stomped on by high-skill giga-chads. If you disagree with this, then you're purely coping, bud. COD's been a franchise for over a decade easily. Esports became a thing that has encouraged more sweaty professional ways to play video games that used to be made for fun. And there's tons of YouTube videos out there too for best class setups and whatnot for you to sweat your nuts or boobas off. <laughs> Take your pick. Point is, the skill gap of a noob to even a four-year-old COD gamer is incredibly large. To stop new players from instantly leaving this franchise at this point, after repeatedly going one kill to 40 deaths a match, is skill-based matchmaking. The ability to learn the game at your own pace with peers somewhat in your skill bracket is a big positive. As BMM isn't pairing you up with people 100% equal to you either, it's got a lot of variation to mix it up in your matches. Honestly, the only people it's hurting are the ones that used to abuse low skill-based matchmaking COD games and get nukes 24-7, which is a 30 kill streak in a row without dying once. It's not that nukes aren't possible now, you can still get them. I got my first one back in Vanguard actually, and another one in MW2 last Last year. <laughs> the feeling of getting one for the first time in eight years was so cool. Not gonna lie, it felt extra good because I know skill-based matchmaking does exist. I probably would have gotten one sooner if skill-based matchmaking didn't ramp up in Modern Warfare 2019 and onward, but hey, it was worth it. Anyway, number two. Skill-based matchmaking is great because it ramps down the higher your skill is. <laughs> what? Impossible! Nah, dude. If you look back on exclusive aces skill-based matchmaking tests on MW 2019, Cold War, and Vanguard, you can see that the higher your KD gets, the less people the game has to matchmake you with, meaning it will grab more and more players from a lower skill bracket and place them into your higher skill brackets. This effect also seems to technically also harm low skill players too, because it will put a 0.7 KD player into lobbies with enemy players around a 1.0 KD. If you got a 1.0 KD, that means you're averaging one kill to one death per life. Most of the player base is around 1KD, so don't feel bad if you're around there too. <laughs> Modern skill-based matchmaking also condenses our KDs so much more because we, the higher skill players, can't inflate our stats anymore by stomping on noobs. Players that had a 2KD back in the day are probably around a 1.4 now. That's just how it works. And now that noobs aren't getting stomped on, their stats are higher now too. A 0.5 is probably at a 0.8 now, or something like that. But yes, skill-based matchmaking gets less strict with your average enemy stats when once you reach a 1.2 KD and higher. To help you visualize this, here's a lovely bell-shaped graph my buddy Jason from Gamer Central totally invented. <laughs> I'm just kidding, he just really likes the bell-shaped graphs. But yeah, go check him out after this video, I put his link down in the description. But yes, you can see here at the bottom, we have our KD ratio stats. Around a 1 KD is where most of the player count peaks. The vertical bar on our left is a measurement of player count. So when you fall to the left or to the right of this bell shape, for matchmaking to still give you good ping lobbies, it will matchmake you to players closer to the center of this bell. Pretty simple stuff. Thank you for my TED talk. 
And lastly, reason number three, skill-based matchmaking defeats the ongoing war between mouse and keyboard users versus controller users. Call of Duty is a cross-platform game, meaning you can connect and play together between consoles and PC. The conflict these two groups seem to have is over which input is more overpowered. Controllers have aim assist, while mice do not. However, a mouse allows for more speed and accuracy than a controller has without aim assist. With a mouse, you can factually make micro adjustments more instant and more accurate. You can swipe fast, stop, and switch directions on a dime as well. Controllers have analog sticks, which are not as competitive. They have a much smaller range of motion, and instead of reacting to raw manual input, they have a constant input. I can hold left and it will keep spinning left. If I want to do the same on a mouse, I'm going to need a bigger desk, or, or more realistically, I'm going to keep swiping in bursts. <laughs> Competitively though, this usually isn't an issue. A mouse user will get used to staying within the boundaries of their playmat. It is something a controller user doesn't have to get used to or worry about, but on the other hand, mice have the ability to turn on people within a millisecond without losing that precision to stay on target. If you want to do that on controller, you're going to need to top that sensitivity, bud. Let's try it out. I play on an 1111 sensitivity, which is way above the average controller users, but let's try 1717 and, and see how we do with aim assist enabled. Hey guys, this is Matsuki in game on Christmas Day, and I got a lot of t shirts for Christmas, so I'm going to try wearing them throughout this video, or at least throughout the rest of the video. Um, I just got to record record some gameplay of me actually like, I gotta switch weapons, uh, playing the game now with a higher sensitivity. I was playing a little bit this morning and I, uh, on 1010, I haven't played the game in a while so I was just practicing so I got used to 1010 again and I'm gonna up it to what I said which I believe was 1717 with aim assist enabled so let's see how we do. We're gonna use the MCW, okay, yeah, it's uh, pretty much a no recoil weapon. Okay, okay, okay. It's gonna take a little bit of time to get used to. <laughs> uh, we got sniped. Oh shit. Let's see if we can like get some flick kills. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. Oh my lord. Shoot. <laughs> Obviously we're gonna be trying doing the, the best we can. Also in general, with a time to kill like this, you do, oh my god, you do have a little bit more time to uh, react to gunfire. Like in the middle of a gunfight, you can readjust your aim. Unlike when it's like a fast time to kill, you're, you pretty much have to be aiming in the spot of an enemy. Um, oh shit. When the time to kill is fast and your crosshairs are not like lined up on a target and there there's are on you, well, it's pretty much shoot first, die first at that point. <laughs> At range, I am finding it a little bit easier to control this <laughs> high sensitivity, but oh my gosh, I am just overshooting constantly. Whoa! Ooh, that was a good turn. Oh, I see a sniper. God. <laughs> All right. Yeah, even on games like Rainbow Six Siege, if you're not like already aiming, you you're probably gonna lose the gunfight. Like you're just not doing good, man. <laughs> Whoa! Ah, grenade. I've also been playing COD for I think what is it, eight years, nine years now? So I'm not like a new player. Of course, I'm gonna like not be dog shit when I try a higher sensitivity, but uh, I, I do feel like my aim is currently off. Like, that's my most unbiased approach to saying this. Where is this guy? Oh my gosh, I could not find him. <laughs> whoa, whoa. So usually with like keyboard and mouse, I think they, uh, God, what is he doing? Uh, usually people say that it's harder to aim in close ranges and I find that I, I am finding with a higher sensitivity it is a little bit, a little bit higher. <laughs> okay, okay. Whoa! Ah, damn it. I saw some gunfire to my right, but yeah, didn't know exactly where he was. Was that another YouTube character? <laughs> YouTube character. A am I a character to you guys? <laughs> we got Lemon YT here. All right, we got a UAV. All right, we got a we got a three kill streak. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Ooh. Ooh. Come on, 
come on, come on, come on. Yeah, there we go. See, I, I, again, like, I don't think aim is, this, is that strong. I don't know if I said that in this video, but uh, in that gunfight, you could just clearly see that I, I'm not being, like, pulled to my target that much. <laughs> You do have to work for your kills. It's not just, uh, it'll drag it towards your target. Um, yeah. Nope. <laughs> Gosh, I am, uh, really interested to see what this play is like without aim, aim assist, like, right after. Yeah, I, like, I'm, I'm already missing more shots than I would be at, like, at my normal 10-10 sensitivity, but, like, I guess I would kind of be used to. 10, 10 right? I'm not really used to this one. Just as if I were to hop on mouse and keyboard right now, I, I would not have as good of aim as if I uh, am playing on my regular 10, 10 or 11, 11 sensitivity. It's also just a completely different input device. people in here shit i was like shit am i actually gonna be able to like pub stomp here for a little bit but yeah i didn't hear any footsteps i do have some music playing in the background right now too hopefully the music doesn't sound too awful because i'm probably gonna be editing this all together <laughs> it's just gonna be like little snippets of sections of this song god damn it i should have thought this through a little more bum, 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 bum. nah no one would be back there at this point no way nice oh they're getting a what the hell that was a pretty easy kill. Friendly UAV online. No one's here. All right. Lemon, lemon, my boy. Oh, yeah, there you are. Crap. Yeah, dude, sliding definitely puts you into a like a, a, a kind of a lock. I think it actually might have to do with a, a whole tax stance aiming because tax stance, I'm pretty sure. Allows you to swipe left and right a little bit differently. Yeah, like this definitely feels a lot faster than this. So I think uh, slide canceling or sliding this just in general. Hurting me a little bit in that situation. That one too. All right, and that's game. So let's try without aim assist now. We also went 22 kills to 25 deaths. So negative KD. Alrighty, so now we're going to be trying without aim assist. Um, also, we swapped shirts, as you can see now. I got a couple more for Christmas. We have this Spyro shirt right here. If I can find the top, I will show you it right away. Here we go. Ta da! Spyro the Dragon. It's like all made out of like triangles and stuff. It looks really cool. Sorry for bumping the mic. And then I'm also wearing the other shirt I got, which is a Hatsune Miku shirt. Hopefully that's easy to see. It looks really cool. I, I love this shirt the most, I think. Um, <laughs> just the design. It's a very like stylistic anime character, so I, I really like it. <laughs> but uh, let's get into the game. So we're just going to leave it at 1717, and we are literally just going to turn off target aim assist. Um, and that's it. So let's uh, die and get our new weapon. Yeah, but do. All right. Oh, boy. All right, all right, we got a kill. Nice. Ooh. Okay, this is my second match using 1717. I'm not used to the sensitivity, but we will see how we can do. I remember actually liking uh, Cold War when it had like no aim assist on snipers, right? Whoa. Shoot. Ah, that guy just surprised me. I was calling him my UAV, so I couldn't take him out on him. <laughs> It'd be interesting if you could like attack stance um, like this while you're calling in like a UAV or something, just like with one hand. I believe you could on Infinite Warfare. Well, it was with hip fire, but it'd be interesting if they like added that. Whoa, what is this guy doing? Crouch fucking <laughs> But yeah, the uh, snipers in Cold War, they were like pretty good without aim assist, I thought. Um, it's a lot easier to like pick a target and snipe them. It's only like a one hit kill with a sniper too, so, so like <laughs> I'm not managing recoil or anything. The only other game that I've been using without aim assist has been like Rainbow Six Siege, and oh, that was a pretty good kill. Uh, but on Rainbow Six Siege, the only difference there is that I'm actually using a pretty low sensitivity. Oh, they got a chopper out right now. Oof. I'm not gonna go for the chopper. I'm just probably gonna take the uh, underpath. Uh, which is right around here. <laughs> We're gonna go down here and I'm gonna come out like under the helicopter pad, I think. See if we can get some kills over there. Oh my gosh, they got a UAV. I, I don't know if I have ghosts on this class. Hopefully I do. Hopefully. 
Whoa. Uh oh. Okay, so I could really feel like I could not keep track of my target at that range. That was pretty easy, that kill. Yeah, long range? <laughs> could have done better. Is that another Overwatch Hilo? What the hell? Oh god. We do we have a suppressor on this thing? I think that's a suppressor, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Got him. Sweet. Whoa! Okay, I can swipe on that guy pretty fast. <laughs> I think he just saw me first, maybe. I don't know. Got him. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. I got caught in a slide again. <laughs> Shit. Bad habit, bad habit. Oh, damn. <laughs> Pressure's on. Whoa, there, bud. Got him. Whoa, there. Alright. Thanks, teammate. Shit. <laughs> I saw that guy last second on the minimap. Probably could have got him if I actually was, like, aimed in beforehand. Also, with aiming on controller, another thing that's, like, a little bit different without aim assist, you usually don't want to aim too, too much at range. Um, with the right thumbstick, you just want to move your left thumbstick to kind of walk in the same direction an enemy is moving in. It's a lot easier to control recoil that way with a higher sensitivity, but... I don't know where that guy went. Um, mark that guy for our teammate. So maybe mount. <laughs> Get some, like, less recoil or something. Whoa, there, Kyle. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Oh no. Blood for blood. Kyle, what a legend. Let's let's look at his aim. <laughs> I mean, he's doing pretty good. There's a chopper out again. Oh god, it's yeah, it's just gonna kill me. <laughs> Shit, that chopper is still shooting me. What the hell? Dude. Kyle, you bitch. Oh. Got him. <laughs> Winter holidays party. Hostile SAE No, 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 no. Up there, teammates. Got him. Uh, double teamers, damn it. Alright, well, we, well, we got one kill. <laughs> Shoot, damn. Aww. Man, it sucks that they keep getting choppers. Yeah, hey, they're gonna win any moment now. Oh, shit. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we spent like a whole mag on two guys. <laughs> Alright, how well did we do? How well did we do? We did, well, we did best on the team with 22 kills. <laughs> so oh, Kyle got 81 on their team though. God damn. Okay. Um, how, how's our deaths though? Like, what's our ratio? 22 to 21. We went positive. <laughs> so yeah, I, I'm gonna say that aim assist isn't really the biggest factor in accuracy if per se i wasn't able to even get like a positive kd without aim assist on a sensitivity that's higher than i normally use like significantly higher then maybe there'd be a little bit of an issue sorry i'm looking at the up here as if there's a camera up there still but no it's over here now hi guys <laughs> but yeah aim assist isn't really that strong i guess is what i'm trying to say uh if you do if you do have a lower sensitivity i will say that aim assist does kind of seem stronger but that's only because you're not really zipping around like you like you can on a mouse if you want to turn on people when you're at a six sensitivity <laughs> it's just not gonna happen i will show you guys exactly what i mean turn on that aim assist now all right let's get into another match oh and by the way this hat i'm wearing it right now it's a uh, goro from uh neaners um i'm not sure if this is official official neaners merch but i don't know my parents found it on a website and bought it for me for my birthday or no not my birthday sorry christmas um we usually open a present early uh, i opened this yesterday <laughs> so which is why you would have uh, seen it at the start of this video but uh uh, wrong gun, wrong gun. 
All right, six sensitivity. This is how fast you can turn with a six. All the way to the right. Target area located. Secure the hard point. Let's do one three sixty. Sorry. Like that's that's kind of a, quite a while. Like it's not the slowest thing ever, but like you, you will be using like your whole fucking thumb if you're just swiping left to right and you want to actually get kills. Like, holy crap. See, like, I'm under-aiming. I'm under-aiming. I have to move my thumb a little bit more to get those kills. I mean, it's not, like, unexpected after playing on a 1717, right? <laughs> Jesus Christ. What, Jiminy Christmas. What are we doing? <laughs> okay, let's go back to a 1010 sensitivity, and I'll show you guys how I normally aim. <laughs> 10 and uh, 10. All right. Let's do this. Got him. Shit. The sliding again, dude. I, I don't know why I keep doing it. And we got... St what is our luck, dude? Holy crap. This guy's just, like, camping right here. I mean though, like when you're used to a sensitivity, like it, aim just comes naturally. Got him. I think that was a headshot, maybe in there. Whoa, well bad. Oh, almost got triple. Shit. I do feel like that sliding is still throwing me off quite a bit. And that was that right there was just unfortunate because we already damaged quite a bit, so <laughs> it was inevitable that we'd lose that again today. Why can't I? I don't know why I can't mount there, that's weird. Located. Mount here. That is so weird. Look at this, guys, look at this. So you can mount here, but on this door frame over here, no mounting for some reason. Isn't that wild? Whoa, that's a teammate. Oh boy, I'm sorry. Shit, there's three of them, oh my god. Oh, where'd you come from? What? Oh, okay. Just, that, that was a sniper scope, <laughs> dude. Oh, Save you, teammate. You're welcome. Where'd this guy go? Oh, you bitch! You bitch! Look at this dude. No scope, too. Alright. Up real quick. Got the, got the reindeer. <laughs> One battle pass token. Let's go. That guy's stationary. Oh, I did not mean to fall. Oops. Ah, stun. God damn it. I think that's the strategy. <laughs> I don't know where they are. <laughs> I don't know where they are. God damn it. Bro. Bro, come on. Lay a reindeer, bro. <laughs> Jeez. If I have to deal with another stun, dude, like, god damn it, I will end this video. Oh, these players are annoying. These players are super annoying. Like, why are you prone there? The hard point is across the entire map. It's just people abusing spawns. Damn it. 
So my team is just dumb. <laughs> Sons, dude, I. <laughs> I <ugh. laughs> okay, 38 kills, oh, half our team left. What can you do? And we played the start of this match with, like, what, the 6 6 sensitivity just to show it off. I went 38 and 28, so 10 more kills, and we did bad at the start, so. I mean, uh, yeah, that's kind of it. Now, there are some games that get away with no aim assist on controller, one being Rainbow Six Siege. However, that game plays nothing like COD other than it being a first person shooter with guns. <laughs> the play styles are completely different. I played Rainbow Six on PC for the last three or four months while I was on controller, and I still had to lower my sensitivity to an abnormally low level for me. I believe I'm over 100 hours played now, and this game does not have COD paced action. You can't jump shot, people don't drop shot, and very much unlike COD, the TTK is instant if you get one shot to the head. People also pre-aim and camp like a mother trucker. If those players got into COD, they'd be losing every gunfight, guaranteed. <laughs> Your skills don't transfer over that well, especially when your main tactic is slowly leaning around the doorframe for a head glitch advantage. Call of Duty don't have leaning, my friend. You're either full in when you make a push, or you're sitting at a vertical head glitch. Now, I could keep talking about the differences between M and K versus controller, or I could just end this debate by using one word. I think I'm gonna go with that one word. Skill-based matchmaking. Okay, maybe that's three or four words, but it's true. SBMM makes input irrelevant. Relevant. If you're good at COD, you're going to be paired with other good players. If you're average, you're going to be with other average players. KD is good and all, but skill based matchmaking also takes into account your accuracy stats too. KD is only one measurement, which is a somewhat reflection of your overall stats combined. Sure, it would be nice if COD had an input based matchmaking system so people would stop complaining, but these people don't need to bitch and moan in the first place with skill based matchmaking already in the mix. Once you realize people will just have their own input devices, both having pros and cons to each type, it's not that big of a deal. Everyone will be playing to their own advantages and oftentimes forget that they even have those advantages in the first place, like fast turnaround kills or aim assist helping your reticle slightly move up or down when an enemy jumps. But with that, I hope you enjoyed my hot takes. SBMM is good for these reasons. And feel free to react to this video on your own channels too if you'd like. No copyright takedowns here. Obviously, be transformative and credit people in the description. Have fun with it. And that said, have a jolly Christmas. Subscribe, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out, homies.